Hey guys, welcome to a new sewing video! Today is a redemption edition. In my recent video where I rated everything I sewed in 2021, I mentioned I had made these trousers. And they were really nice trousers, but the fabric that I ordered came in completely wrong. It was not a good material to make trousers with and after I washed them once they were pretty much ruined so I had to um, get rid of those but I've always felt like I wanted to try again with that pattern because I absolutely loved the look and fit of those trousers so that is what we're gonna do today this is the pattern right here it is a vintage simplicity pattern from the 1940s a reproduction of it and it has these dungaree overalls type of pants that can also be made as a just um, simple pants. Today I'm just going to make the trousers and to do that I have bought this fabric, jeans fabric. I think this should be <laughs> doable. I've never sewn with jean, with jean fabric before but this seems easy to use. It barely stretches if at all. It is thin, it's not super thick or bulky, it seems flexible enough. This seems like a fabric I should be able to make a nice project with, with minimal problems. <laughs> I can really use a new pair of jeans. I own a grand total of one pair of jeans and one pair of dungarees. Uh, and I'm wearing my only pair of jeans today and they tore this morning in an awkward place. I am in dire need of new jeans and I'm gonna make them. One thing I am still undecided on and trying to figure out is whether I want to do the orange contrasting thread or just sew it with blue thread. But I think, I honestly think I'm gonna go with blue because the orange has always felt kind of off to me. So I think I'm just gonna do it in an inconspicuous blue thread. And I might today, for the first time, attempt some top stitching and see how that turns out. Enough talking, let's get started. It's a new day. I have the inner seam ready for both of the trouser legs and it's time to do the first of my top stitching. The pattern doesn't actually call for, stop, for top stitching so I'm gonna have to figure this out myself. Um, so I tried to look at the jeans that I already own and there seem to be a couple of places where the double top stitching is kind of standard and the inner seam is one of them. So now I just have to figure out how to do this. Preferably, of course, I would like to 
at the same time um, fell the inner seams. I'm fairly sure when they do this professionally they use twin needles to do this. I don't have those so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make sure that the distance between the two rows of top stitching is consistent and that it also catches the seam allowance on the inside. Let's start trying things. So I ended up flat felling the seam and even though I didn't do the neatest job, obviously this is my first time doing this, I think it actually looks good. It, it looks very jeans-like and I am glad that I didn't use contrasting thread because I'm nowhere near ready for that. I think it would have looked very wobbly in a contrasting thread but in this matching thread it looks very alright if I dare say so myself and I think it's uh, good that I'm starting with the inner seam so that I get a little bit of practice before we move on to the more visible parts of the jeans. I'm very happy. I think I'm gonna keep using this technique throughout the rest of the project as well. I know you are supposed to use a special thread for top stitching as well but I'm just gonna see how far I get with this uh, regular thread and if I can maybe get away with it. Perhaps the end product won't be so sturdy or maybe it's just an aesthetic thing why you normally use top stitching thread. understand why there is only top stitching on the inner seams and on the outer seams because obviously once you sew the pant leg closed you can't reach that seam anymore so yeah I think I'm gonna have to pull out my other machine and overlock stitch the outside of this inner seam so that it doesn't fray as much but then I am ready to start working on the button placket or at least the the bit on the side here where the closure sits because these close with buttons The bit where the buttons are supposed to go is now attached, looking good. So all that remains now is the waistband and then of course you attach the actual buttons. I realize I don't really have buttons for this project but I would like to maybe try and do these um, big coconut shell buttons. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out if it looks nice or not but I think I think it goes quite all right with the uh, jean material and I I think it does also go with the majority of my clothes. I mean, I use these 
coconut shell buttons on pretty much all of my projects. I just really like them. But we're looking really good so far. I'm very, very happy with the progress. Time for an update. So I attached my waistband. Everything is looking great. I'm very, very happy with where this is going so far. So I also edge finished the bottom of the pants and I think it is time to determine the length of them. So what I think I'm gonna do is just use the recommended folding line that's on the pattern because you're supposed to cuff the bottom. Try it on and see where that hits and whether I need to lengthen or shorten it. After that, I'll just have to do the buttons. Oh, and of course the pocket. I almost forgot about the pocket. The pattern says to put the pocket on the front, but I think the front pocket only looks good when you do the pin a fork. On just standalone jeans, I like back pockets better, so I think I'm actually gonna do two of them and just attach them on the back. But I wanted to have the pants finished for that so that I could figure out the perfect placement. Let's do the cuffs on the bottom first. Are done. My first ever handmade jeans are done and I am so happy. I finally made something again that I actually like. I adore these. I adore these so much. I think they are perfect. They are everything that I wanted from them. I love the shape. I love the fit. I love how they make my waist look smaller and my hips look bigger. They are comfortable. This material is perfect. I love the pockets. I really like the placement of them. I'm very glad I did two in the end instead of just one. I think one would have been kind of out of balance. I was really worried for a bit there that I had just lost my sewing mojo, but it seems that I have it back and it was in fact just the stretchy material. Very glad I ditched the stretchy material. <laughs> Although these are just stretchy enough to be comfortable. They have a tiny little bit of stretch to them. Half of my fabric, literally half of my fabric is still remaining. I only used half of the recommended amount. I, I, I don't know what's up with that, but as I was cutting it out, I remembered that I do think I had this problem last time as well. So I might just be able to make another pair. And if I do, I would love to make more cigarette style, like narrow pant legs, almost skinny, but that ends kind of like halfway down your calf. I love that style. So I think for my next pair of jeans, I'm gonna do that with the remaining fabric. But these, oh, just, oh, I love them. I'm very happy with the buttons as well. They are kind of statement, um, especially because of the size, I think. They are rather large, but I really like them. I think they 
add to the look and they give off a little bit of a 70s vibe which does kind of go with the style of the pants as well even though these are definitely 40s. I tried to iron in the crease um, on front and back. It's very crisp on the side that I did last but I think it already kind of flattened out um, on the side that I did first. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo that but I do actually really like um, those creases as well. I think they really add to the classic look. The length is great as well this time. I think both with and without shoes the length's gonna be good. I'm really excited to wear them. I think they're gonna be super versatile and especially if I make the other pair as well. I'm gonna have all my jeans needs met. I feel like I learned a lot from this project even though I have already made this pattern before. I think I did a much better job this time and I did of course do the double top stitching um, on most of the seams and I think that worked out fantastic. I'm still very glad I didn't do the contrasting stitch but I think it works great with the matching um, thread color so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more sewing, but also fashion, beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there are links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching once again and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!